Hey ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to do, I'm going to test my uh, new homemade meter out and we're going to test it on this big screen TV. So I'm going to play a little video for you and we're going to test to see what the power consumption of a big screen TV really is. And uh, I have to admit I was quite surprised when I tested this myself the first time. So here we go, we're just going to put a little video on and we're going to see what happens to the power consumption. Oh, yes, looks bad. This is uh, my little in interloper from last year. Very cute and generally sweet, but there we go. As you can see, as things move about and the picture changes in brightness, as fluctuation in the uh, power consumption of the TV, not unsurprisingly. Um, in case you haven't worked it out yet, this is a plasma TV rather than an LCD. Most LCD TVs don't show this particular kind of fluctuation with relation to uh, picture brightness because of the way they work. LCDs have a backlight and then by simply by changing the crystal uh, orientation it changes the light output, whereas on plasmas there are actually um, glowing cells which must be energised or not. So there we go. Different uh, brightnesses translate into different amounts of energy consumption. <clears throat> so in fact just that little um, clip you can actually see the amount of energy that's been used 47, sorry 41 kilojoules or 11 watt hours uh, of energy so about 0.1 kilowatt hours just for a couple of minutes use. You can see the uh, current there at the top, current's hovering around 2 amps, power at about 475 amps, very good power factor as you can see, uh, 0.94, if you click on there, about 20 degrees phase leading due to slightly excessive capacitance. Slight amount of harmonic distortion there, about 75 VAs of harmonic distortion. So there we go. Plasma TVs, four to 500 watts peak power consumption.